Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I play Red Dead Redemption 2 at around 180 FPS using my mid range NVIDIA GTX 1080 with FSR 3.1.4 and the new version of LSFG 3.1 Adaptive Mode. This is something called OptiScaler Mode. You can download this mode in GitHub webpage. So I give you the link and go to that website and download of this scalar mode with this FSR 3.1.4 version with LSFG 3.1 adaptive mode help me reduce flickering, ghosting and delay issues when posing lossless scale frame generation you might think this is a stupid idea and I understand why because the FSR mode itself already has built in frame generation so then why am I using lossless scaling FG? Well, here the thing, in FSR mode, you don't really see flickering, ghosting or, or delay issues like you do with lossless scaling FG. I know that, but when I use FSR frame generation on my PC, in some areas I started to notice a lot of lag and stuttering. Also, in Red Dead Redemption 2, you only get really smooth gameplay when you are outside the cities. Inside the town, it's hard to accept stable smoothness. It just don't feel right. But with the lossless scaling, we can actually get the same smoothness experience even demanding areas. The only issue with lossless scaling FG in some trickery. But even that can reduce a lot we combine it properly with FSR mode settings and with LSFG adaptive mode you can still get high refresh rate experience even on older GPUs with the FSR mode frame generation you usually only get that level of performance on higher end PCs that's exactly why I wanted to share this method with you all so let's take a look at how we can actually get it working right way. Alright friends, now I show you exactly how to install FSR 3.1.4 mod to your game. Like I mentioned earlier, there is the link in the description. Just click that and it takes you the official GitHub page. You scroll down to assets section and download correct file. You will see it listed there. After that, go to your download folder, use WinRAR O7 ship and extract all the files into new folder. Once you have them ready, Copy those files and paste them into your Red Dead Redemption 2 install folder just like I am showing here. Go to your game install location and paste everything there. Now open the folder named DLSS override and double click the file called Enable Signature Override dot rec. Just press yes or ok to apply the registry. Next, run the optiscaler.exe file. Now show you this window. Most people use the first option that comes up which uses dxgi.dll method. But on my PC, that first method doesn't work. Whenever I select that and launch the game it crash so instead I use the second option and after selecting it press enter then it will ask you which GPU you are using if you using AMD or Intel go with the first option if you are using Nvidia choose the second one since I am using an Nvidia card so I pick the second option and press enter you will then get a confirm message saying complete. That means it ready to go. Now launch the game and go to the graphic settings. You should now see the DLSS option is available. That means the mod was installed correctly. 
you must enable DLSS for the FSR mode to work. Also, scroll down and change the graphic API to DirectX 12. Without that, the mod won't function properly. And make sure the display mode is set to window borderless, since that required for lossless scaling to work right. Now go into gameplay mode and press the insert key in your keyboard. That should open the OptiScaler window. If you follow all steps correctly, the window will appear like this. If it doesn't show up, something went wrong in setup. Now change the XCSS option to FSR 3x and click the change upscale button next to it. Now your FSR 3.1.4 mode is activated. Now let's activate lossless scaling adaptive mode next. In lossless scaling, use these exact settings. They help reduce flickering and input delay. Now press the shortcut key to activate lossless scaling. I set mine to Ctrl plus Alt plus S, so I press that now. You will now see the base frame rate appear along with the LSFG adaptive overlay. I show you a quick bit of gameplay there, so you can get sense how much it actually feels. My target is set to 180fps. But you can also set uh, to a 160 or 144 or 120 depending on your setup. The lower you go, the most stable it can get and flickering and delay will reduce even more. As you can see, the gameplay smoothness is way better when combining the FSR mode with lossless scaling. You already know that lossless scaling built in upscaler isn't that great especially compare with what this FSR mode offers. That's the main reason I went this setup. So friends, definitely try this out yourself and if you run into any issues or question, just drop a comment below. I will reply with the best help I can give. Thanks a lot of everyone who watched this video all the way through. If you think this guide was helpful and you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe the channel. If your today's video helped you out, leave a like and share with your friends. Until we meet again another interesting video.